Hi, I'm Lou and I want to show you how I made this hair growth laser hat for around 60 bucks. Laser hair treatment usually takes 6 to 12 months to work, but there were noticeable results in the first 30 days using only 9 lasers. This hat now has 100 lasers. I'm not a hair growth professional. Build this hat at your own risk. For parts, we'll need 100 laser diodes, some heat shrink tubing or electrical tape, and a piece of foam to mount the diodes in, four AA batteries, a AA battery holder, wire strippers, three to four feet of twin lead copper wire, and some copper wire pieces such as out of a Cat5 cable, and a tiny on-off switch, some double stick tape, and a baseball cap. Let's take a closer look at a laser diode. If you use it directly as is, it'll shine a red dot across the room. Instead, we want to unscrew this end cap like this and pull out the cap and the spring. The main thing that we're taking off is right in here. There's a little lens that focuses the laser. We want more of a blurry laser that's going to come out of here because we're only going to be millimeters away from the scalp. Next, you cut a 4-inch square piece of foam and drill holes in it every 3 eighths of an inch back and forth so you get 100 holes total. Next, you want to put your laser diodes in each of the holes. The best way to do that is to start it from the back, push it through with a screwdriver so it sticks out a little too far in the front, and then back it down to where it's nice and flat right there. Here's what it looks like from the front. I've twisted them all 90 degrees apart from each other just to get better coverage. Next, we need to take each of these wires and strip it using the smallest hole on the wire strippers to half to three quarters of an inch long. Separate your wires into four groups of 25 lasers each. In each group, wind all your red wires together like this. You can either solder them if you have a soldering iron, or if you just have this Cat5 wiring, you can take this bare copper, make sure you strip off the sheathing and wrap it very tightly around this to hold everything together. Wrap all this bare wire with electrical tape. After you've grouped and wrapped all your red and blue wires, it should look like this. We're only going to use one, two, three batteries in these slots. Just get rid of this red wire off the end and then use a drill bit or a screwdriver to pull that metal tab out of there. Now drill that hole big enough to fit your switch. Next, wrap some wires on your switch posts here and here, and then tape them to make sure that they're not touching each other, and then you might wrap the whole thing in tape as well. It should look something like this. Next, stick the switch up and through that hole in the battery holder, and screw on the nut that holds the switch in place. Now you take the red wire that you cut off the battery pack and put it in this extra hole on the side by the switch and we're going to hook one of the switch wires to this obviously strip them and twist them this other switch wire to this spring right there next you need to decide whether you want the AA batteries in your hat or maybe in a coat pocket if you want it down in a coat pocket then you'll need to attach this three to four foot cable on the end of there and extend it out so you can go to these wires. If you want to put it in the hat, you can just connect this directly to that, which is what I'm going to do. We're simply connecting all the red wires and their pigtails to the red wire on the battery pack, and all the blue wires go to the black wire on the battery pack. Now let's install it in the back of the baseball cap. Start by taking a piece of wire or string and feeding it up through these two holes. Now tie the battery pack to the back of the hat by putting the wires through the little holes on the sides like this and tying them down. Put several strips of double stick tape on the back of the laser pack. Now flip the hat over and flip the laser pack over into position wherever you need it in the hat and stick it down. Your laser hat is now ready to wear. I've posted a full parts list at howtoloo.com slash laser hat. If you'd like to see the results in six months or so, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and good luck making your laser hat.